for a big, crazy, cool announcement that just blows my mind, be sure to stay until the end of this video. Or skip ahead if you want to know it right now. Hey guys, Simply Betty here. Would you like to watch me unbox a small fortune in aquarium lights? Because that's what I'm gonna do today. Now when you hear small fortune in aquarium lights, you might be thinking like, the fancy twin star lights that all the ADA aquarium people loved so much, or ooh, the Kessels that all of those people love so much, which Kessels are pretty cool. But no, I didn't get twin stars or Kessels. I got Fluval Planted Plus 3.0s. At least I think that's what they're called. I wouldn't know because there's so much tape on these boxes, I actually, don't remember what they were called and I can't read it. So yes, these fluvals, they're actually pretty affordable for what they are. They're you know pretty nice. They have a nice three year warranty. They have like an app that comes with them. They're, they're really not priced all that badly in my opinion, but I got four of them <laughs> at once. So yes, four of them at once. That's why it cost me a small fortune. <laughs> So thanks so much to my lovely patrons who helped me out with this. My lovely, amazing, small handful of patrons. Thank you. Let me show you what I got. This right here, this is my box. Lots and lots of tape. There we go. This box is actually two of them, as you can see. Ah, okay, and then over here, you can see I have two more. <laughs> There we go. Check that out. Wow. So let's actually see if I can remember what the name is. Taylor, Taylor, what's the name? You know what? I'm gonna figure this out later. I'm just gonna open this. I'm just gonna open it up. Whoops. Ah, fluval plant. Take this out. Here it is, check it out. This is finally, I finally got this unboxed. One of the Fluval um, planted lights that is app controlled. I think it's pretty nice. Let's see, right out of the box. Let me just show you how bright, whoa, look how bright that is. It's nice, it's one of the modes and you can like turn it into a couple different modes just with this little touch button right here. But then I think the really cool part is the app. This is probably sounding like some kind of promotional video. I promise you it's not. I just like this light. I have two of these already. Um, this isn't brand new to me. I've had two of these for over a year now. Right when this generation of plant light came out, I got a couple. I like it better than the previous generation of this light, which I think it had a little remote and you click the remote. I just, I love these. And that's why I was very happy to get four more. These will be great for my new 20 gallon longs that I have set up on my new rack. That's why I got these. So I'll go ahead and I'll unbox the other four um, and get them onto my new tank rack and show what it looks like. One of my new lights, I kind of adjusted it to fit right in the middle of the 20 gallon long. I'm gonna plug it in and we'll see how it looks. See how much nicer that is? Oh my goodness. That is nice and bright. And that one, and that one, and that one. Pretty cool. This is not an aquarium co-op sponsored video. I just bought a lot of stuff. Let's see what else Taylor bought on this online shopping spree. I got a new brand of food that I've never tried before, this Extreme. See, I, I know nothing about this Extreme brand. I do know that this is a really high protein content. It's like 38% protein. This is cool, I just wanna try it. I don't have any brand loyalty when it comes to fish food. I just like to try a lot of things and then decide, and I'm still trying to decide what my favorite fish food is. So zero brand loyalty. I'm just trying this Extreme because I can. I got, ooh, check it out. A new CO2 diffuser because I just wanted a new one. My other one's getting a little old and the bubbles don't come out very well. Can't say too much about it because I've never tried it before. This is nothing special. I just got some little suction cups with airline holders on it to help with some, some airline and cable management. Then I got some air stones. They're like, they're these Adjustable, never clog air stones, which I thought was kind of neat. So I'm gonna take one of these crazy new little plastic air stones, which I've never tried before. I'm gonna stick a little piece of 
airline onto the top. Take my sponge filters. Um, just a note, I've actually never tried a coarse sponge filter before. Usually I use fine ones, so it'll be a little bit of an experiment. I didn't buy these actually, I got them from a neighbor. I'm gonna stick this little, on this little, little cap of the sponge filter and then stick it on. The Airstone being in there makes smaller bubbles come up and it's it's quieter and I just like it a little bit better. The sponge filter, oh, this is so exciting. Do my sponge filter. Now I will repeat. Okay, let's see. There's one. Aha. Uh -huh. Final one. Oh, look, they're all controlled via app. I like the lights, it's totally gonna be worth it. One nice thing about getting lights like this that are adjustable is that I can tone down a tank if I want to, I can brighten up a tank if I want to, I can decide, do I want it to be a low light, a medium light, a high light tank? These lights give me a lot of options just for buying one unit. I can do so much with it. Good night. I've actually been meaning to do this unboxing for a while now, so I'm gonna squeeze it in right here. I got a lovely little package from Cosmic Bettas. Cosmic Bettas makes stickers and does really, really cute art. Let's see what Cosmic Bettas sent me. Oh, and so, oh, there's a nice little note. Hey Taylor, thanks so much for letting me send you some mail. I love your videos, really appreciate how nice and supportive you are to me. Ah, oh, it's so sweet. I've included some extra goodies. I hope you like them from Devin of Cosmic Bettas. Oh my God, this is packed so cutely. I really need to take some, some cute packing lessons. I literally send out my packages like wrapped up in some plastic bags. I'm the worst. Oh, I feel like I'm opening such a nice little present. This looks so cute. I feel like I just bought something from a little Japanese gift shop. Oh, oh my gosh, what do I open first? I'm gonna open this one first. Oh my goodness, look! A Simply Betta Mac Ristoma picture. This is like the cutest thing ever. What? Oh my God, that's so cute. I need to take some cute lessons from Devin. <gasps> look at the betta fish, look a little Tancho. Oh my God, that's like my favorite. Oh, I don't know if you Dwarf water lettuce, what the heck? These creatures, we have all oh, little mushrooms and bumblebees. Adorable little pack. Strawberry shortcake axolotl. Ram's horn snail on a macaroon. Fungus. <laughs> snail, look, rabbit snail. <laughs> Grumpy fish. Wow, little glittery pins of, of Cosmic Feta's art. Ah, I just can't even take it. I just, I just can't even handle this right now. So thanks so much Cosmic Feta's for sending me your artwork. This is so cool. I think it's time to fill them up. The end of this project is in sight, my friends. I am so close to having fish in my new fish office. I'm this close. So now I'm just gonna make sure that the, that the pump is working, the air pump, which is gonna drive air to the sponge filters and get that circulation going because I'm gonna cycle my new filters. In my last video, I mentioned how, how I set up my air system. Um, this little fluval pump back here, which I was joking, I'm probably, gonna, I'm probably gonna hate its color and end up painting it. So I'm gonna start by just plugging this in. You'll probably hear it. Where is it? Listen for it. There we go. Okay, it's a little noisy, um, but I'm actually gonna let some of the air out now. So these little nozzles back here are gonna let the air out of the pump, and I'm actually going to get some bubbles. See that one right there? At the rate that I desire, which I like, kind of a medium flow like that. And I'll just go ahead and adjust each one. There we go, it's up, it's running. All of my filters, you can see are, you know, there's air going through my filters in all of them. The filter might be a little louder than I want. I don't know if it's because I've had it for like a year now. Maybe I should try a new air pump. I'm just not sure. In these brand new tanks, I'm gonna be using a bacterial starter to get the sponges going. Some people like to do the method where you add a pinch of fish food every day just consistently. That'll slowly bring up your ammonia levels, which will start your bacteria colonies. So far, I've been enjoying just using a bacterial starter and a bacteria food, you know, food. 
and doing it that way. This is Florin Bacter and Fast Start from my sponsor, Brightwell Aquatics. And they're working for me. And then also I have sad, sad news. My enormous jug of dechlorinator is almost empty. I can't believe I've used this much dechlorinator in my life. Like it's as big as my head. I'm just gonna dechlorinate my water with my precious, precious few last drops. Then I'm gonna add the fast start, which is like the bacterial food. I mean, you guys probably already know this, but in a cycled tank, there are multiple different strains of bacteria and these bacteria eat different parts of the waste cycle. And you really need to establish a good population of all of those strains of bacteria and they all need to eat different things. I should really make a video about the cycle. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a cap full of this stuff into each tank. Then I just kind of wait for a bit while it circulates around. Uh, since I'm just doing like four tanks at once, I'm gonna take a little cup of water. And dose this for like four tanks worth. There we go. I'm just gonna mix up my bacteria solution just a little bit in the water. And I'll dump it into each tank. I'll pretty much do that daily for like the next I don't know, a couple weeks or so until I start getting good readings. It'll be nice to start fresh. I'm gonna start completely fresh on the upcoming steel tank rack redo too, and it's, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait. Now I'm just gonna sit back, I'm gonna wait for a while for my tanks to cycle, and then after that, I'm actually gonna add in my dividers, you know, some gravel, some plants, and then my fish. So my next video about this um, it's going to be me actually taking fish off of the steel rack I have, you know, my big black steel rack, and putting it into my new key lime green rack because key lime green fish tank racks are the best color. So thanks so much for watching, guys. What do you think about my new lights? I really, really like them. I'm actually gonna turn them off for the next couple weeks um, just because there's really no reason to light these empty tanks. It's just gonna grow a bunch of algae. What do we say to the battle of the algae? Not today. Be sure to follow me in all these places if you want to. Also, I have a Discord, you can come say hello. I put a lot of behind the scenes stuff there if you wanna come see some behind the scenes stuff. I have a big, crazy cool announcement and I'm really excited about this announcement too. You may or may not know, I do some voice acting on the side and I'm in an anime called Ruby. I'm the voice of a character named Penny and she's much beloved because she's precious. The big news is that I got invited to my very first Comic-Con to actually be there and like be signing autographs and interacting with people like the whole time. It's gonna be at the Kansas City Planet Comic-Con on the weekend of August 20th to the 22nd. And I am a little too excited, just a little too excited. So if you have any plans of going to the Kansas City Planet Comic-Con on the weekend of August 20th to the 22nd, you're gonna have to come say hello. <laughs> So that's my big news I wanted to share. Thanks so much for watching guys and thanks to my awesome patrons who helped me buy this small fortune worth of lights. You're awesome. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.